So here's the situation. Boom. A very common situation like this. And often people make mistakes. I greet you on my channel, Sambo Academy, Ivan Vasilchuk. I'll show you how to do armbar from a very interesting position. And many people make a mistake, don't know what to do with their hips. And today we'll analyze that. Sometimes I'm displeased to read your comments. What is this word? Sambo doesn't have this word. Or for example, Sambo is the best and Jiu Jitsu is not even a sport. Here is a live example. Frank Chimizo, 70 kgs in freestyle wrestling. And he's got such a unique and unpredictable techniques. I bet you that he went somewhere, maybe Judo, maybe Jiu Jitsu, maybe Sambo, in order to learn something new things. All normal people, normal sportsmen, athletes, whenever they get ready for a tournament, they get ready for their opponents. They record them, they see how to throw them, they see what they do to throw. And sometimes you're being waited. As soon as you're about to do something, you're being trapped. So whenever you cross train, you get the best from that sport and apply it to your sport. And you become unpredictable for other people, for your opponents. That's why. Cross train, like I did. For example, I went to Kiev. And my coach said, go to judo, go to freestyle wrestling, collect something and wrestle in different styles. From freestyle wrestling, we learn double leg takedown, learn something else in judo. And that's why we don't get frazzled when we witness something new. Because we learn something new as well. Something people don't expect from us. That's why. Respect other sports, with pleasure cross train, extract whatever you need and apply in your sport and win. And now we're going to parterre and going to analyze armbar. Common situation here. And commonly, mistake is made. In order for him to es escape, he wants to come up. And what do we do? We want to pull him in that direction. It's very hard when he's resistant. So if the guy is coming up, he lifts his head first. And you want to load up his head. What do we do? We throw our hips up. There we go, threw our hips up. You see, I loaded his head up. Don't try to roll him over in that direction. There are some sweeps, but they're hard. It's much easier to throw hips on his head. We loaded him up, and he's ours. And let me tell you how to throw your hips up correctly. This is the example that I'm showing you. You can do it from standing position, from kneeling position, or even lying down. What's the idea? The idea is to throw your hips on his head. And the first move that you make, that you apply, do not put your hips on the floor after you prop his leg. If you, if you put your hips down, it's much, much harder to elevate it. So, therefore, you got a grip here, or here, here, maybe just pinch the arm, you can grab the lapel. It's uh, important to prop the far leg, and he starts to bend. And in order to elevate your hips, we don't sit down and then throw leg over. But we prop ourselves on our elbow. Let me show you. On the elbow, you see? Hips are elevated. So here's the situation, boom, and I spin really fast. But if I were not on my elbow, look at me, I'm like a turtle. I have to elevate, I really, really slow myself down. So in order to avoid that, always use your arm and elbow. Hips are suspended. I'm pushing and one fluid movement I spin. Don't stand like this on your knees. You see he can come up and throw you off. Always rotate sideways and arm is mine. And even if the arm is not there, it's still my situation. I can grab his waist or leg and if he pull the arm out, I can get to his back. Important to prop the far leg and he starts to bend. And in order to elevate your hips, 
we don't sit down and then throw leg over but we prop ourselves on our elbow let me show you on the elbow you see hips are elevated 